Welcome back to The Reality Guys. I'm your host, Brian, and today I'm talking The Bachelor, Season 28, Episode 7. So this is the week before the hometowns. So uh, Joey takes the girls to Jasper National Park. This is in Alberta, Canada. Uh, he rides in on a motorcycle, followed by probably all of his gear. Uh, there's like a little uh, he's turning around. There's like a truck with it looks like a little like trailer on the back. Definitely getting a little bit of an escort service into the town. Um, but the dates uh, were pretty standard, and, and as in standard, I mean blah. Um, I really think the big moment really is tonight is Maria and the things that uh, she had after the group date and like her, what her, the things she expressed to Joey. I have my opinions on that. I kind of wish that Bill was here tonight and like note he says, because I know he is more pro Maria than I am because I find her to be so annoying. Uh, but I'm really interested to know what you guys think as viewers. Do you, I'll just get to it. I think, I think what Marie did tonight. I think she was she was being a little manipulative. I think that she used a moment to kind of get a gauge on where he is. Because if he was like gonna, I think if he like so basically what happened is they went. On, she was picked on the group date. She was saw Jen kisses Joey while he's doing a confessional. She sees it. Rachel sees it. Um, they're upset, obviously. I mean, that's that's how it always goes. They talk at the um at the group date, like after party, where before he makes the decision for the rose, and she kind of says, like, I I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Like, I don't like when you're not when a man is not all mine, especially you. Um, he's like, I don't know why he's confused because like they had a great one on one. He says they had a great one on one last week. He thought he made himself pretty clear on where he stands with her. And she gets up and leaves this conversation and we have leaves the conversation for a commercial break. So who knows how long she go, how long she was gone actually. But I mean, for us, it's like five minutes because we're sitting at a commercial break. So it seems like super long and she comes back and she's like, Oh, I just had like a, I just had a moment Um, kisses him. Like she wants to stay now. And uh, he doesn't give out a group date rose that night. So he obviously needs to think about it. And I just think that she, I just think that she, she used like, it makes sense to me that like, if you're questioning like where somebody stands you in this situation, she's like, Oh, I'm thinking about leaving. And he's like, he would have been like, Oh, okay. Then I'll see you later if he didn't really care, but does care because he even pulls her later at the rose ceremony beforehand there's no cocktail party also by the way which is also just i complete is a big failure especially with this late in the game you got to have a cocktail party for the people that you don't have the the roses you didn't even have a group date rose either so all everybody that was on that date is scrambling and you don't even get to talk to him like i just think that's that's whack i mean who he picked makes a lot of sense because these are the people that he has the strongest connections with so i appreciate that but got to give some of the you got to give the girls a fighting chance i think Especially like you say there's no we have no time to talk. He's been thinking right before the rose ceremony, he pulls Maria to have a conversation. And he's like, just want to make sure you want to stay because I don't want to beg you. So she already she she's lying. She's automatic. And I just think that she did that to kind of like reset the playing field or like get get a one up on the situation. And I'd really like to know what you guys think. Um that's just how I feel watching it. I literally is 10.05. When I'm recording this, so it's it's super fresh in my mind. So I could be totally wrong tomorrow when I think about it and see a bunch of people talking about it. But right off the bat, that's how I'm feeling about the situation. So let's fast forward. Let's rewind a little bit because I think that's the main topic. Um, we'll go over this really quickly. It's going to be two one on ones and a group date. First one on one is with Daisy. Uh, she, they go on like a horseback ride and then they go into a jacuzzi, and that's like a to me the standard um, bachelor date. End up in a jacuzzi somewhere. Uh, the one thing I will say I respect about Daisy is she's not going to tell him that she loves him until like she picks him. And I, I respect that. Like, I, I think these people throw the L right around way too easily, way too, because they, they, again, it's in some, some reminds me of something similar that Maria would do. Like you're, I, 
that just think you're you're saying these things to make sure you can stay in the game in the, in the show longer. And I respect that she's not doing that. And he still is going to be like, I, I give her a rose. She gets the rose here. And th- I think that's a really good sign for her. I think that's a really, really good sign that if he's everybody else has validated themselves to him and she hasn't, and he's still so willingly ready to give her a rose. I respect that. Good for her. I I, lo- I really respect that move by her. Even I mean, she does like him, but don't say I love you so quickly. I just think it's, it makes it look fake to me. So kudos to kudos to Daisy. I like that from her. And okay, so the group date: um, Kelsey T, Maria, Rachel, and Jen. So that means that um, Kelsey A gets the next one on one later in the episode. Um, they go do like a lumberjack, lumberjack, lumberjill competition. Um. There's somebody, a woman there that's, I guess, in the area who is famous or wins, won a lot of lumberjill competitions. Um, they do, they, she shows them how to do like a single saw. Um, they're throwing axes and um, everyone does pretty well except Maria. Maria's, Maria's not very outdoorsy. She says she, she doesn't like the camp. She likes the glamp. Um, to do a little competition where it's like a little race. So you have to roll a log to a certain point, then you flip the log. And then you need to do use a single saw for something that's already cut. So like it's already a little bit cut down. So it's a little easier for him. Because if, I think if you're cutting, I mean, if you had they had to do the start, that'd be really tough. I mean, it, it looked fun as hell. I mean, the date looked really cool to me. And um, then it ends with you have to chug some elk milk. And notable, Rachel was allergic to milk. And she still chugged that milk because she wants to win. She wants to see a time with Joey once that rose. So got to give her some respect for that as well. Uh, but Despite that, Kelsey T. Kelsey T. dominated this competition. She was flipping that log. She was cutting stuff. She was chugging that milk. Good for her. She she got the uh, she got the win. But like I said, he didn't give out a group date rose. So these people like Kelsey T. Jen. Well, I guess Jen. Jen did it. Jen. It's just she had a lot of confessional time today, and that's how you know she was in danger. And that's like a if you watch, we've watched enough Bachelor here that you when you see a lot of a person, they're usually something it's going to be like a, they're gone. Or they're, they're either going to stay with, with a bunch of passion or they're gone. And I mean, because Maria, it was her and Maria who had a ton of screen time today. I thought another thing um, from the group date, Kelsey's dad doesn't know where she is. Doesn't know that she's on the show. So I wrote down here, I was praying that she advances. Um, sadly that she does not, but I was really hoping to see her dad react to her being on the show. And I'd love to see his reaction because as someone who is a new father, I always hated the the what they do on the show where they like throw them at the parents and try to like make them be okay with all this. And to see it now, now that I have kids, I wouldn't be okay with this at all. I say this every week. Um, I bring it up a lot, but I, I wouldn't be okay with this. I would not as a dad. I would definitely not be okay with this. It would be to me to be absolutely ridiculous. So yeah, yeah. Um I think we're all on, uh, and, and all the viewers here are probably on the same page there, but let's. So the next thing is, I already talked about Maria. So I, I know I, know I, jumped, I jumped around a little bit, but I just, I just, the main topic is Maria. So just it's always the Maria show constantly, and I don't like that. I know some of you guys do. Bill likes it. I don't like it. I find her to be very annoying. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, so Kelsey, a, she is the next one on one. They explored the town. Um, I talked to a random person at the store. He's like, oh, have you heard about the polar bear plunge? Hmm. So then they do the polar bear plunge. Um, it looked really cold. I've never done a polar bear plunge. I know, like, um, we kind of live near Seattle. They do a polar plunge, a polar bear plunge up there. But, yeah, never done it. I would do it. it looked kind of fun. They're all wearing, like, uh, costumes. They're not costumes. They're wearing, like, hats, biking hats, pirate hats. Um, then they went in the sauna after words and made out so that looked pretty cool too um so the next thing they go to their dinner and i thought they had a pretty open and honest conversation at this dinner um she's kind of gave a little more um talked a little bit more about her family uh what it means to go to hometowns um that she wants she wants to be chosen uh she made a joke that like i'm going home no matter what next week i'm either going to hometowns or i'm being eliminated so i thought that was funny a little bit a little bit of humor there but um, she gets the rose as well, and I really like Kelsey. I think she's a strong contender. Um, I, I I like. I probably put her as if 
who I think would be a nice fit for him. I know he's probably going to pick. I, I feel like Daisy is also the number like leader in the clubhouse. I really don't think he's going to pick Moran. I think it's between Kelsey A and Daisy. But yeah, I I, I thought that a good conversation. I, I, I it, it's definitely going to start getting really hard for him because the four people he chose, he I think he has a really good connection with, and this is it's nice to go into knowing next week he's he's gonna have a hard time making a decision and more than so in the past like i could see him with any of these girls like even though i don't think murray's gonna win i I could see them together i mean he spent a lot of time with her he's like he's doing more than he normally would to any of these other girls like trying to try not trying to not say that he wants her to stay but he does in fact want her to stay so we get to the road um I, i already said no cocktail party i said that was pretty whack where we are in the game and you didn't get out of group date rose i think you need to you need to you need to bite the bullet man and just suck it up and have the the uh you need to have the cocktail party you gotta talk to these girls man their 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 head is probably like all over the place they're trying to figure out what they can do they they're just i mean because next week it's a big deal i mean meeting families they want they especially all these people have already like said that they technically like love him so i can see how it's it's hard and i that's my pretty pretty my big knock on joey this week he, he needed to have that cocktail party he has enough time uh, to play tennis with uh, Jesse every morning or whatever, but he can't have a cocktail party. It's just kind of ridiculous. All right, so the rose ceremony. Um, right before the rose ceremony, he pulls Marie to have this conversation, which I talked about earlier. Um, the girls are not happy about this. They're like, well, I thought we, I thought you didn't want to have a cocktail party. I thought you didn't want to talk to anybody. And I was like, that's super fair, super fair to feel that way. I, I think I would be pissed off, especially um, for Jen and uh, Kelsey T who are eliminated here. I would be super annoyed that he gets to talk to her probably does some validation even if like he was on the fence she could have said something that swung him and they don't know that until they watch this but yeah i would be pissed i would definitely be pissed so uh rose ceremony the two women that get the rose it is rachel and maria not totally surprising i think these are the like i said his strongest four connections it's gonna make hometowns really interesting and the preview Looks good. I'm. I love when the parents are very skeptical about all this, of this journey, this journey that everyone's on. I, Maria's dad looks just like a much of a character as she is. Like he had a lot of screen time in the um, trailer. Uh, Kelsey, Kelsey's dad, Kelsey A's dad, as someone who has five kids and and he he lost his wife, he's got to be super protective of his daughter. I totally get that. Um, I hope he's pressing. I hope he's pressing Joey. Uh, it looks like um. Rachel's parents not loving this whole scenario either. Love that. Love that. And uh, I don't know if we saw, um, I don't know if we saw anybody from Daisy. They didn't really show any uh, situation with her. So that could be either a good thing or a bad thing. But yeah, I um, thought the episode was all right. It was it was good. Um, we're getting down to the end here. And I'm just happy that he chose the four people that I think he, he I think he made the right decision in. As much as I don't like Maria, I, she's a top four content. She's the top four prospect for him. So I think he definitely made the right choices here. And um, let us know what you think. Um, how do you feel? How do you feel about the the who's going hometowns with him? Um, what do you think of the trailer? What do you think of the dates? Anything that happened on the episode, let us know. Um, we will be back tomorrow for Vanderpump Rules. Um, I will also probably be dropping. I know I've been saying this for a couple of videos now, but I finally finished the edit of never love never lies poland season two on netflix so i'll probably have that out tomorrow maybe midday and um also i have love and hip-hop shorts that i'll be doing over the next two days for the shows coming out um we have crazy rest later this week um we also have um the farm wants a wife ready to love tons of shows tons of shows and um i've right to the challenge last week maybe it'll do the reunion one not really sure at the reunion looks like it might have some actual value to it because the season was so terrible but we have something we have something for everybody and if you have, like i always say if you have a show suggestion drop it in the comments we will definitely check it out so uh for myself and the rest of the reality guys i will talk to you guys later have a good night see you